Did Urashiki die, or did he leave someone as his vessel? Enjoy watching. Many believe that this character is not canon, since he is not in the manga, but there is neither Joe Gunn nor Teneri, therefore, if it will be easier for you, then consider that we are talking about the canon of the anime itself. And for anime, this character is considered original, and all events with him are related to the plot, and most likely he will appear after the time skip, when he is already an adult. But how and why can this happen? As we know, after Otsutsuki are defeated, their body disappears. I think you understand why this is happening. It's not because the power of the Rasengan is so strong that it incinerates their flesh. This is due to the fact that they shrink their body and turn it into karma. So, the mark on the vessel in the form of a rhombus is the body of Otsutsuki himself. It happened to Mamashiki. However, Urashiki's body also evaporated. Before that, we were not shown whether it is possible to defeat the representatives of this clan at all and how this happens. Let's say Kanshiki was consumed by his partner. Kaguya was sealed away and, in fact, is still considered alive. The Shiki crumbled just like a Beto had. But it's not clear why. Either because his vessel was too weak, or his vessel began to undergo Kaguya's technique, which injured Ashiki. I think it's not a secret for many that between the mother of all chakra for Shinobi on Naruto's earth and her partner, there was a battle after which Ashiki was in a terrible state and almost died. And he, like a parasite, climbed into Jigen and joined his body. But what technique did Kaguya use to destroy him? Her bone spikes that destroy the body of the one they hit. And basically, if the body turns into karma, but it's already infected with Kaguya his body destroying technique. The Shiki couldn't make real karma, and he had to get into Jigen's brain. Because if he turned his body into karma, that karma could possibly have infected genes that would fall apart due to Kaguya's technique. Her power is very dangerous. It destroys the connective structure of molecules. This technique affects the genes and destroys everything at the genetic level. Maybe that's why Shiki needed a motto to separate Kaguya's technique from his karma. But since he had to be reborn in Jigen, his vessel was destroyed, so the body was scattered. So this case can be a good example of what happens to Otsutsuki's body, since it's not completely known what happened to Ishiki, is it because of a bad vessel, or because of Kaguya's technique, which made the vessel bad. Therefore, the only representatives of how karma works, I personally consider Mamashiki and Urashiki. Thanks to them, we can understand that they turn their flesh into a seal that remains on the body of the vessel. But this happens only when they die after they have transferred karma, or at the moment of transferring karma. It's difficult, but that's because we don't fully know what's going on with Otsutsuki's body. Based on this, it can be understood that karma is transmitted in several ways. The first one is the one we saw with Mamashiki. His body evaporated and apparently became the seal on Baruto's arm. And the second way, the one we saw with Ashiki. While in Jigen's body, he gave karma to Kawaki, but he himself did not disappear. And here again it is not clear. He did not disappear because the Otsutsuki has the ability to not turn their body into a seal but just pass on their genes, but still remain alive, or he didn't disappear because Amato helped him, because the way Mamashiki gave karma to his vessel, and the way Ishiki did, are completely different from each other. But, thanks to this, we can understand that there is more than one way to transfer karma. In the first case, most likely, one can turn himself into karma and transfer it to the vessel, and then fall asleep in consciousness and wait until the karma is unpacked. And in the second case, transfer his genes, but at the same time remain in his own body and wait until the genes are unpacked in the vessel. This is most likely the variant used by Ishiki before. We know that he, along with Kaguya, were partners. And in order to create a chakra fruit, the ten tails must absorb one of the Otsutsuki. For some reason, many people believe that Kaguya was always the victim, which is actually not the case. Since she called herself the guardian of the tree, she was below Ishiki's rank. Kanshiki called himself Mamashiki's guardian, and he was also below his rank. Their words mean that Kaguya and Kanshiki had to watch over and guard their superiors. The guard cannot guard if he becomes a victim. That's why Kaguya called herself the guardian. When she arrived on Earth, she constantly looked at the stars as if she was waiting for someone. She guarded the tree, which arrived on the planet after the ten tails consumed the victim he needed. And it was Ishiki. This means that he transferred his karma to the vessel without turning his body into a seal. And while this very karma will be unpacked, he became a dinner for the ten tails. And most likely, which I am 100% sure of, it was Ishiki who constantly became a victim. Also, as was the case with Kanshiki and Mamashiki, the victim was always Mamashiki. And Kaguya was a guardian, and this is most likely the case. 
which means that the assumption about the transfer of karma in two ways is correct. Otsutsuki can turn themselves into karma immediately and then fall asleep in the mind of their vessel or transfer the seal but still remain in their original body until they lose some battle or die. That's why I'm sure Urashiki is alive. This character was revealed to us as very cunning and prudent. He will not simply fight with someone who is stronger than him. And when he fought against the Kazakagi and Mizukagi, he escaped and did not fight them to the end, as he almost lost. When Sasuke came and saved Boruto, Otsutsuki also escaped. And the question arises, if this character is so prudent, is he really so stupid at the same time? Attack the shinobi that defeated Kaguya and defeated Mamashiki. I think Urashiki is not that dumb, and he prepared for what could happen to him. Because the first thing he did when he arrived was to visit the only person who could possibly become a vessel for the Otsutsuki, and that was Tanari, who he then sealed. It is possible that, at that moment, Urashiki gave him his karma, in case he was overpowered by those who had once defeated Kaguya. After that, as if nothing had happened, he can be reborn on the moon, in a vessel that is under a seal, and maybe he can easily remove this seal, and that would be brilliant. I think that many, like me, believe that Otsutsuki should appear on Earth. But in order to find out the coordinates of a place in space, there must be someone who watches, who finds them. Such a character was shown to us in the face of Urashiki. He tracked down suitable worlds. Therefore, for, the other Otsutsuki will not be able to find Naruto's planet, as they will be busy with other planets. But they must appear. This means that someone will have to give them the correct coordinates. That someone will be Urashiki. It's unknown when this might happen. But I'm more inclined that the rest of this insanely powerful clan will show up to get the new ten tails and harvest the tailed beast's chakra, including eating the chakra fruit. Judging by how the Otsutsuki compete with each other, I don't think they would allow Code to consume all life on Earth and take that power for himself. In addition, if it is found out that the body of Shibai, the one who could become God, is with Amato or with Code him himself, then 100% someone new from this clan will appear to take all the power for themselves. Since if Shibai's body was in Jigen's possession and Amato didn't take it with him to Konoha, then it might still be somewhere in one of the hideouts, and Code might want to use it as food for the Ten Tails. After all, in fact, it doesn't matter if there is a soul in Otsutsuki's body, the main thing is that it be a representative of this clan. Therefore, it would be logical to bring back Urashiki, who will inform his clan about everything that is happening on Earth. What Kaguya did, where Ashiki disappeared to, that Shibai's body is there, that Mamashiki and Kenshiki lost, and everything else. But then, over time, it is possible that Tanari's consciousness will take over, because he is still Otsutsuki, and will inform Boruto that the Otsutsuki clan is coming to Earth, and a new arc will begin, already with the disclosure of all representatives of the strongest parasites in the universe. Write in the comments, what do you think? Can it happen that Tanari became the vessel of Urashiki? As for me, this is logical. I really want to know your opinion. Good luck to all.